Hello and welcome to this introduction in prompt writing uh, where we will discuss the basic, the basic of the basics basically uh, of prompt writing. As of today, if you want to have access to ChatGPT4, you need the plus version, right? So uh, we will work with ChatGPT4 because this is the best tool you can have. It's much better than ChatGPT3 in a various uh, ways. And um, basically, in order for you to change from ChatGPT the default module, you will come here above uh, where it says uh, model and you will change it from default to ChatGPT4. Now be attentive, uh, ChatGPT4 currently has a, has a cap of 25 messages every three hours, uh, which is a problem for us, but uh, we will be fine. So um, back to the topic of the lesson, introduction to prompt writing. Uh, the objectives of the course are to make you understand the basics of prompt writing then identify common elements of prompts and then develop strategies for writing effective prompts. These are the objectives for the uh, category or the part of this course where we talk about uh, prompt engineering, uh, because after that we will have another part of the course where, we'll, where we will talk about um, actual use cases. Uh, so, um, be tuned because it will be a great course, great experience for you. So these are mainly the objectives for this part of the course. Now, what is a prompt? I sincerely believe that most of you know what a prompt is, but just in case, a prompt is a statement or question given by the user to the chatbot. Prompts are the core of using any chatbot software, just like ChatGPT. It is basically the input here. Now, we can differentiate prompts based on some criterion, uh, such as um, are they the main prompt? So the main prompt is usually the prompt with the task. Then there is conditioning prompts. Then there is, uh, you know, um, error responses prompts. There are tons of prompts you can use in ChatGPT. Uh, we will go through most of them. Uh, and you'll, you will get more comfortable with using prompts as we go through. Um, why are prompts important? Well, it's it might be obvious, but prompts in ChatGPT are essential uh, because it's what makes the AI to generate the responses. So, um, as you provide a starting point of information, you help ChatGPT to predict the next word because ChatGPT is truly nothing but uh, a software that uses this technique of predicting the next word. It has an algorithm that uh, says which word is more likely to be the next one. And it chooses based on that algorithm. Uh, and it does it so well that, that it, I mean, it's amazing. I mean, when you explain to someone that ChatGPT only does predict the next sequence of words, it seems counterintuitive because it's much more than that, and it's much more than that, actually. It's amazing. So, um, again, you have to provide good prompts because um, this is what get the response. This is what will get you the response. And the next slide is all about that. Writing prompts for ChatGPT. Uh, writing prompts are important for ChatGPT system as they provide the initial input to the model, as we've discussed, um, and they can be used to generate creative and interesting conversations or maybe some information maybe you need some help with a task maybe you need a table that to organize your i don't know stuff it's various contexts you can use chat gpt there are lots of ways so it's not just a single way of using it so that's why you have to have some critical thinking and creativity to realize the vastness of this spectrum of how much you can use ChatGPT. Now, what are the challenges in writing prompts? Uh, well, creating well-crafted chatbot prompts can that capture multiple topics and don't lead the conversation can be challenging. It's important for the prompts to be clear and broad enough to elect a variety of responses. What does this mean? Well, um, it mainly means that you should use mostly open 
prompts. We will discuss what are open prompts a bit later. Um, and also it means that the how, how well the output of ChatGPT is, is mainly based on how well you've written the prompt. So if you get a bad, a bad response from ChatGPT, it's more likely that the reason the response is bad is because your prompt wasn't good enough. Because ChatGPT4, I mean, it's it's next level. It's it's out of this century. So uh, most likely, if you don't get the response you want, it's because you didn't write in a good enough prompt. And we will talk about what is a good enough prompt in this section. So, I mean, don't get frustrated or uh, discouraged if you don't know some of these things. Uh, this is a course for everyone, beginners, intermediates, and a bit for advanced. So, uh, I mean, if you're an, uh, an intermediate or an advanced, feel free to skip some of these introductory le lessons. But uh, if you're a beginner, I mean, it will all make sense. Okay, so let's move on. So, um, introduction prompt writing. It's important to remember that, you know, in order to get good responses, you need to get to give ChatGPT good prompts. This is basically what you have to remember the most out of this lesson. You need to give ChatGPT good prompts. Uh, also, remember what are prompts. I mean, I think you will do remember what prompts are. Uh, and if you can, also remember the types of prompts. But if you don't, uh, we will talk about them in the following lessons. So it's uh, it's it's okay. Um, and pretty much that's it uh, with. Introduction to prompt writing. Um, now, I suggest before I teach you anything on prompt writing, before I do anything like that, I suggest you go by yourself in ChatGPT and try out some prompts uh, before seeing uh, some of the lessons, some of the future lessons, lectures uh, I will uh, give you. So just go and experiment. And after you try with two or maybe three prompts, come back and we will go further into the types of prompts. Uh, I hope you had fun and learned something new. See you in the next lesson.